Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth in our series of this Diablo 3 beta let's play. Starting off with the Barbarian, moving into the Demon Hunter and Monk, and now we are here on the Witch Doctor. The Witch Doctor is a caster, manipulating the forces of life and death, and uh, some pretty awesome abilities here with this class. So I'm really excited to get started playing the Witch Doctor. Has been a favorite of a lot of people in the beta, so really happy to bring this to you. So without further ado, here we go, Witch Doctor Diablo 3 beta. Let's Play series starting now. All right, everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Time to look at the Witch Doctor Let's Play. Starting things out, of course, looking at the spells and abilities and talking about the class in general. This is a caster, a ranged caster, of course. Uh, you know, does have the opportunity to have a lot of uh, summons. In fact, we can see right away having the option of summoning zombie dogs. Now, the utilization, the resource system utilized here, rather, by the Witch Doctor is going to be the basic mana. We all know how mana works. This functions exactly like it does in every other other RPG um, basically how you know mana functions it depletes uh, it's got a very slow regeneration but mostly you're able to get regeneration as well through potions and stuff like that the Witch Doctor has abilities to allow him to gain mana back much more quickly. Um, so pretty awesome stuff there. Let's take a look at the basic starting spells. Uh, the spells available here, the basically the distinguishments between them are the Physical Realm, Spirit Realm, and then Support Spells. We're starting off with one spell in the Physical Realm. This will be Poison Dart. Shooting a deadly Poison Dart that deals 3 to 4 poison damage and additional 3 poison damage over 2 seconds. So it's got that initial burst of damage, but then of course we have got the damage over time through poison damage as well. And and then support are these zombie dogs. I have the uh, opportunity to have three zombie dogs and they just fight with you. That's it. It's got a cooldown to 60 seconds. They die, they die. You can resummon them after a minute. There you go. So pretty awesome. And let's get things started here with the Witch Doctor. Oh, this is so much fun. These Let's Plays have been awesome. Really having a good time doing them. And I really hope that the community enjoys them. I know that there is a lot of footage already for the Diablo 3 beta. But I hope that I'm still providing, you know, a unique enough of experience to keep people entertained and enjoying, uh, basically, my my coverage of this game. I, I, I hope that that's something that's actually being conveyed in, conveyed in my videos. You know, I really love the Diablo series. I love the franchise. Uh, I, and I, I've had a lot of fun following it over the course of, the, you know, the past few years. And de specifically covering the game itself over the course of the past year. Um, I, I really... On my current channel, I have uh, the coverage. I I've only had the coverage since midsummer, but I had an alternate channel which I did do Diablo coverage there as well, uh, merging them to try to keep one nice cohesive community. That's kind of the main point. That's all there is to say about that. All right, but let's focus on the Witch Doctor now, and we're gonna actually start off getting a little hand me downs here from my last character in the playthrough. Now I've got I've got a couple options here, so I do want to take a look here at what we have. Uh, so I've got this Ragdoll, which is gonna give me a mana regen of 480 per minute pretty solid this one's plus vitality that's pretty easy <laughs> uh, vitality cool but not really needed so I'm gonna sell that at some point point. and then here we go plus six percent more damage to witch doctors plus one to do fire damage and this one five percent okay so this one's just obviously a clear uh, clear increase over that so I'll be taking that one and then I've got the hand-me-downs here these nice pants these nice gloves as well uh, those are from my prior character so yeah some pretty some pretty nice things to start out with here and actually, where's my, uh, there we go. I'm going to put that in the offhand. Great. So 480 mana per minute. Now the cap is actually 200. Wow, that is crazy regeneration. Wow, that is awesome. With a 200 cap, 480 per minute. That's nice. Uh, very nice. <laughs> I like. <laughs> All right, cool. Cool, nice start here. Already pretty thrilled. All right, so this should be nice and easy. Take out these guys, no problem. So uh, this blow dart's interesting. That's all I'm going really to say about it. I, 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 I'm not a huge fan of the small minimal damage and then the damage over time. For six days now. Um, just as a general kind of functionality of a spell. Um, I prefer the upfront damage, uh, explosive AoE damage, stuff like that. Uh, but the single... T I mean, this, this is probably going to be really good for uh, kiting around bosses and stuff. And actually, we just picked up Plague of Toads. So why don't I just get that? Uh, Plague of Toads, we'll take a look at that really quickly. I'm gonna replace Poison Dart with it. Uh, another one in the physical realm, 37 mana, releases a handful of toads that deal five to seven poison damage to enemies that they come in contact with. I'm just gonna choose this over uh, the Poison Dart right now. 
And that's what I will use. That is what I will use. All right, Witch Doctor. We got a uh, so so already starting off kind of like a summoning okay, summoning type Witch Doctor. I've got the mongrels constantly by my side, and then I'll have my uh, my toads here as well that I'm just clearly going to spam, um, especially with my insane mana regeneration that I, that I start out with here. That that is crazy that I have that. I did not even realize that I had that particular thing because I when I when I see these class specific stuff I've just been throwing it in my shared stash without even bothering looking at it but that is a really solid so I don't know jeez look at that watch my mana regen my my mana is almost regenerating faster than I can spam this that's not necessarily the case but look at that holy crap <laughs> that's enough high, high pitched I don't, that is enough high pitched talking for me force but <laughs> that's crazy man that is nuts loving it all right let's uh wreck some face witch doctor so yeah this uh evidently has been uh, a big favorite of people uh you know i've seen various videos and streams and commentaries and uh, people have been really saying wow i really like the witch doctor and this besides the barbarian will be my first character at release and the, it's a tie between the witch doctor and the wizard that's going to decide what my alternate character is um, and we'll we'll see. Uh, maybe after this, uh, maybe after this next these next two playthroughs, these next two let's plays, I'll have a better idea of which one I want to start with. Um, but right now, it's kind of a toss up. But yeah, I would like the I would like that for my second. As much as I love playing the monk and the demon hunter was pretty fun as well. Um, I can uh, I I don't I don't think I'm gonna play either of those at least initially. I will play them eventually. I'm sure I'll have all characters eventually, all classes, but not right from the get go. Not right from the get-go. Here we go. I was going to say it. I haven't found any Richard Mothers yet. Some solid damage here. Out of these toads plus mongrels. And crap on my face with that <laughs> mana regen. That's nuts. Almost faster than I can spam the spells. Nuts, 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 nuts. So mongrels, uh, this is something that you know will eventually be able to like enchant them and stuff, uh, you know, through runes especially. And I'm really sad that runes aren't in. Um, I am very sad that runes aren't in the beta. <laughs> I really wanted to play around with runes really badly. Uh, so yeah, it does sadden me a little bit that they didn't make it into the beta. But you know what can you do about it? Mongrels, come on, what's taking you forever? Seriously. What's taking you so long, mongrels? All right. And level three. Cool. Is there going to be something that will be worth replacing my grasp of the dead? I guess I'll have to take a look at it. Look at it. Uh, maybe we'll replace the Plague of Toads with it for now. Maybe we should replace the mongrels with it. Oh, looks like my mongrels decided I'm engaging this pack over here. It's all right. I got him. Piece of cake. All right. Let's take a look at Grasp of the Dead, shall we? Grasp of the Dead. Going to be another support spell. This is eight second cooldown. Hands reach out from the ground. Uh, slow, uh, hands reach out from the ground, slowing enemy movement by 20% and dealing two physical damage per second for eight seconds. So that is okay. That is okay. That's what I'll say. Needs more time. So that, yeah, I don't know. How, how long does it last to? Eight seconds? Hmm. It's all right. It's a good snare, you know. It's it's good. It's a good assistant for crowd control, but not sure. All right, let's go. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. What's that Wanga doll that you're giving me? Wanga doll plus four attack. Nope. Certainly happy with my insane mana regen. I'll stick with that. Thank you. All right, so let's uh, take a look at Grasp of the Dead in action here with Plague of Toads. Before I inevitably switch back to my Mongrel plus Plague of Toad action, because it's uh, clearly overpowered. <laughs> but yeah, this will certainly be big, uh, good for large groups, and I feel like Grasp of the Dead could have some utility uh, in PvP as well. 
I mean, yeah, okay, I can lay down a snare every eight seconds. That's also something that's highly visual and can be easily avoided, so that's why I say may. Um, especially only having six active skill slots, that there could certainly be abilities that people would much prefer over Grasp of the Dead, so just one of those things. Wow, beasting. Lots of damage here with this guy. <clears throat> what did I get to? Uh, that's five percent. No, that's nothing. I need. Here's the key, and my mother's. In fact, I think it's time for me to get. Yes, it is. Cauldron of Jordan. I suspected what was lurking. Get rid of this garbage. <coughs> I consoled him. And Leia, you know, I've already heard what you had to say, numerous times in prior playthroughs. So that's enough out of you. Very strong. Plague of Toads. Very, very strong. There's really no denying that. Proven to be very effective for me. I don't know if it's Plague of Toads or my ability to constantly spam it for my insane mana regen, but one way or the other. So the grass. Yeah. See? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to switch back to the dogs. Just the grasp isn't really. Not really doing it for me. Come back, puppies. <clears throat> Let's go down to Cathedral Level 1. Alright, guys. You're much more proactive than Grasp of the Dead is in uh, dealing damage. I enjoy that. I suppose the one thing though is that with the with the dogs you really have a lack of control, but you know I I trust Blizzard's AI to uh, you know make sure that they're going in the right direction and not doing something they shouldn't be doing. And as long as that holds true, we should be okay. I need to head in this direction because I know that down there is not where the next area is. That's just a little alcove. It's not possible. All right, so yeah, I mean you can see the dogs apparently seem to be. Uh, heading in the right direction. We got level 4 too, so let's see what that unlocks for us. Haunt! Okay. Take a quick look at that. Once more, looks like the uh, puppies are gonna get replaced. Let's see what that's all about though. Alright. Haunt! 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 Puppies, sorry. Alright, 26 mana. Haunt an enemy with uh, spirit damage, dealing 15 arcane damage over 4 seconds, so that's a damage over time. If the target dies, the spirit will automatically haunt another nearby enemy. You may have up to three haunt effects active at once. That's not bad. Is this, I'm assuming, yes it is. It's uh, ranged, so that is not bad. Let's give that a shot here. So as long as we're clustered up, that haunt's gonna bounce from one to another. And I, again, it said I can have three active at a time. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna play around with that for a while. Get a bucklar, something I don't need. Take a look in these chests, though. You never know. You never know what you could find. Could be some sick legendary gloves I have. Actually, I still need uh, arm braces and boots and rings, even. This uh, this guy didn't come out quite as pimped as uh, my monk did at the start. All right. Good job, toads. Let's go this way. Let's take a look this way. I'm gonna keep on going. I'm looking forward to eventually doing some speed run runs too during the beta. See how quick we can uh, come come through this game here. All right, haunts. Spam haunts. That's awesome. Yeah, that looks good. And it's going all the way too, so it's uh, it's reaching long distances. That's good. Good. Seems solid. All right, before I go back there, I'm gonna hop in here for a minute. Wow. Yep, yep. So laying down three haunts at a time is gonna gonna give me my maximum uh, ability to reach multiple targets. I'm actually getting uh, pretty injured here. I want to have to use a uh, potion, but. But the question then becomes, you know, as cool as Haunt is, would it be worthwhile for me to just spam Plague of Toads and stick with the pups, you know? It's really... 
Because the damage over time, you know, it'll kill him eventually, but... Are things dying so fast anyways that it doesn't make sense? And that's another one of those things. When you, when you get to the later difficulties and things take longer to die, um, then, you know, we're looking at dots being a little more effective at that point. Let me see if I can actually hit these guys from all the way over here. That would be cool. I can't hit those ones back there, but... Look at them bounce. Oh, look at that haunt go to work. Nice. Nice. That, that was good. All right, so let me hit all three. And just watch them... Bounce from one to the next. That's good. This is working pretty well. Nice little combination, and I'm not running out of mana at all. <laughs> so, no time soon at least. Don't need that. Next area, Mr. Kane. Back to town. So you can see, you, you can try to follow a straight path, but exploring the dungeon and stuff is going to bring you a lot of randomization, um, and there's certainly a lot of opportunity to find pretty neat things from that, too. Actually, I'm going to wait. I'll be able to salvage it. Oh, zombie charger! Sweet! Let's see how that works. Uh, Alright, zombie charger is 8 to 11 poison damage. That is a single target, I believe, as opposed to that 8 to 11, which is multiple and a lot less mana. <laughs> no, the game didn't freeze. I'm just effing confused. Wow. Uh, handful of toads, 8 to 11 damage to the enemies they come in contact with. So we get three toads that do 8 to 11 damage for 41 mana as opposed to 61 mana, which is a zombie charger, which also does 8 to 11 damage. My assumption here is that zombie charger is going to scale better. So, you know, eventually it'll be doing a lot more damage in Plague of Toads. If not, then it needs some serious reworking. But I'm just assuming that that's the case. But I, I will play around with it for a minute. Uh... So you guys can see it, but I'm going straight back to Plague of Toads because clearly uh, that's a little bit better. Here, okay, here's the other thing too. This is directional. Like I can, I, I, I say, hey, you go this way. Uh, I'm sure you noticed with the Plague of Toads, they're kind of hopping back and forth. They're kind of, kind of going all over the place. Um, so it's not as controlled. And Zombie Chargers, a much more controlled damage. So then, okay, that'll bring us back to, hey, let's think about where that's going to be beneficial. Um, very quick moving mobs, you know, maybe we're considering some some bosses or anything like that. Also, uh, another situation where it may be more useful is PvP. Again, that, that single target directional damage, being able to say, hey, I want to hit you specifically, instead of kind of hoping your frogs go in the right direction, you know? So there we go. That makes sense. Um, yeah, okay. So I, I think it's making more sense. We're, we're kind of figuring out the differences between the two and where one may be more effective than the other. And that is something that I will try to continuously do through these Let's Plays where I'm uh, trying to explain to you guys, hey, you know, this could work in this situation here. All right, a couple of zombie chargers there. More than a couple. <laughs> so, you just, so you're just going to sit there and take it, I, uh, I presume. And there's the Nephilim cube. So I can go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Alright, awesome. Time to continue out into the wilderness. Uh, I'll stick with Zombie Charger for now. During the massive groups... Actually, is this any enemy? All enemies in its way, right. So he charges through as well. Um, so that allows him to hit, as you saw there, multiple targets with just the one. The exploding, poisonous zombie. Pretty cool animation on that. Get those three. Zombie charger in your face. See you later. Certainly having fun with the witch doctor. I mean, this, this game in general is just amazing. I, I know you guys can't wait until the game comes out. I can't wait until the game comes out. I'm really excited for release. And you know, the sooner the better. I'm expecting a release date at BlizzCon. If I had to uh, make a guess, that would be... I would say safe bet is going to be going to be BlizzCon release date. Um, not that the game's releasing at 